Hello, happy Sunday from Chateau de Bory. This week we had a visit from the geologist, so got a little bit of an update. Not great news, but not unexpected news. I also went to Isigiac, I keep saying it wrong, I think that's the correct way of saying it, and picked up paint. So I've actually started painting the cornice moldings for the bedroom. And this week we'll be painting the walls and hopefully getting her done. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, um, big, big fat truck, big fat cherry picker came this week for in preparation for uh, the work to begin on the cottage roof. So stuff is happening and uh, I'm uh, thankfully through uh through the flu so i'm back to myself which is really nice because <laughs> it was yeah i don't know what happened there it was crazy okay enjoy this week's video see you next week you can't turn the tide to go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stones Somebody told me don't pretend Cause everyone could use a friend Sometimes take some good advice Okay, we are in the attic of the cottage and I have to give an answer today about doing a skylight. And whether I want one or two. So the roofing guy has suggested just one because he thinks if I have two, it will be too hot in the summer and I'll have to keep them closed. So is he thinking in this bay or in this bay? Uh, but I think it's in here. Okay. If you want to have it uh, in the middle, the light in the middle of the, yeah. the room. Because here, you're going to have the light on the wall. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. And how long is it? How big is it? It's one meter to 80 centimeters, I think. One meter. One so it's just one meter? One point, but it's so, one meter. It's so yeah. So okay, there, there's there's Tomas's one meter right one there. Meter. <laughs> For everybody wondering how big a meter is. <laughs> it's uh, no, it's look little like this, but uh, do we have it? Do you think one of these is one meter? Continue. I don't wait. One meter. How many hands? Four. Okay. Eight more than four. Okay, so can you hold it up? So it's so between it's gonna, two it's like It's going to be two slats. Two. Okay. And I'll check, yeah, just... Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, basically, we either do one in the middle or two flanking the middle. It's just that each each skylight is two thousand euros, so I'm just trying to. <laughs> no, it's one one thirty four. So yes, yeah, it's, it's about that length. It's about that, one thirty four to eighty. So mm -hmm. eighty, it's gonna be yeah. Because we got here to here, mm -hmm. and one thirty. So yeah, it's about here that way. Yeah. yeah. I know. I know. Should I do two? <laughs> more money, more money. Yeah, that's uh, I know, all that's different. A, I know. All different is the price. Yeah, exactly. 
Mm. And um, for this place, the, the, you're gonna still have the the hole. Mm -hmm. So if you have here, you have the light here in the morning, coming right. like this, and here. Mm -hmm. If you decide to put it in the middle, you will not be able to use the light during the the afternoon because it's gonna be here mm. on the stairs. Okay. And if you want uh, here, mm -hmm. you're gonna have the morning because it's gonna be like there. Mm -hmm. And kind of where it is now from the yeah. window. Mm -hmm. What I want is two, but I don't want to spend. Two thousand more. That—that's the problem. Mm. Always the problem. Yep, mm. yep. So he was recommending having it on that side. Oh, he doesn't care. Oh, yeah. For him, it's a uh, yeah. It's your choice. Yeah. It depends uh, when where you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like. If I'm gonna have an easel, it would be kind of here because that's south. Yeah, that is south. So this would be more light. Yeah. But given that that's south, maybe this needs more light back here. At the end, it's gonna be the same. Yeah. Because if the, the, the room is too little to have a difference uh -huh. from the sun, because the only thing is the during the winter. But even during the winter, because the the roof. From the big house, mm -hmm. it looks so high, so it should not be uh, getting the light. Yeah. During the winter, you'll have so the, the sun is like here, so it has the light more here. Mm -hmm. And during the summer, sun just up directly the, up above. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be more like here. Mm -hmm. I just feel like if we put, like, I feel like we either put it in the center if we're only doing one. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's going to look weird on one side or another. Look at my home. We have got one on the left, no, on the right. Oh, really? And you don't notice? Um, yeah. It's, I feel what's it's the thing if you put it in the center, mm -hmm. it's uh, if you decide to have, uh, like, uh, you work here, desk here to work, mm -hmm. you have some sun too. But mm -hmm. if you have on the left, here maybe you're too, too far to, yeah. um, to, pro to profit, to uh, profit yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, uh, All right, I think I'm gonna stick with one yeah. and put it in the center. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think what you have to do is see before maybe the the capital crumb to so see it's completely wet. Ooh. Completely. Uh, I come and be big into big behind the wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To make it waterproof. Right. <laughs> put something on the floor and all the water goes mm -hmm. somewhere on the somewhere right, else. on the left yeah. of the wall and not inside. Yeah. And uh, keep it uh, dry uh, for. I mean, how was it? Was it always just wet before, or is it only wet now that we've no, taken stuff off? It's because it was hiding behind. Yeah. The the plaster the plaster was completely. Oh, uh, was it wet? Okay. Right. Because we can't put anything on this wall mm -hmm. until it's uh, yeah dry. Exactly. It looks like there was another floor there. Uh, I think it was the roof, the roof where I was here oh, before, okay. and they helped it. Oh, okay. Up, uh, up that makes road. sense. Mm. That makes sense. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 it wasn't this. They, the, um, the ceiling, mm. you can see here. Oh, I see. It was just a ceiling. The yeah, ceiling. so it was like a little floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Like a loft. Yeah, this was just because they didn't want to... I think it's because they didn't want to... Um, when you warm the house, you don't want to warm all the, mm -hmm. and it's more easy to put isolation 
on yeah uh, on the floor on the ceiling mm. than to put it yeah true mm. all right well there we go decision made yeah mm. <laughs> hope it's the right one uh, you never know if it's the right or the wrong because yeah. you never have the uh, chance to make uh, to a make a comparison. A comparison. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good so thing. Decision, so it's a good. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Crazy. Well, it's going to be cute up here, especially if we get that wet wall dried out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's precipitous that I would see a butterfly on Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna take it as a sign. <laughs> I know it's so cliche as a widow person to take seeing butterflies as signs from your husband, but <laughs> you know, it's not often I don't think that you see a butterfly on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. And here's a crazy story. After my husband died, we just, you know, granted it was September, but we were seeing butterflies everywhere. And one of his best friends had died. Well, I'd been to the funeral of one of his best friends, um, I guess the Thursday before, you know, the inevitable Tuesday. And after he died, everywhere we looked, there were two butterflies. And we went to his office one day, and one of his co-workers said that they had seen a butterfly outside the window. The thing was that the window was over 40, I think he was on the 42nd floor of this building in New York. It was crazy. And then, oops, I pushed the off button. And then, um, my mother-in-law, Selena, and I went um, at the end of October. We went to, I don't know where the butterfly went. We went to a, um, we went uh, to, to visit Ground Zero at the time. And at the time, they had the family center open uh, in Midtown, I guess it was at the Armory. And so they were putting us on boats, on ferry boats, to take us down to Ground Zero. And we were on this ferry boat, it was really cold. Most people were sitting inside, but um, we, were trying to, <laughs> we were trying to avoid all of the um, Red Cross workers who, although very kind, were just somehow, we just didn't want to sort of endure their pitying looks. I don't know what it was, but anyway, we sat outside and I looked out and following the, the, the ferry, in quite a wind on quite a windy cold day was a butterfly monarch it was so crazy it followed us all the way down to ground zero so anyway all this to say i have a bit of a history with butterflies so anyway um just thought it was kind of cool to see a butterfly on valentine's day there we go oh and we've got where do they go i'm too close here we've got our daffodils oh there he is <laughs> We've still got our daffodils blooming crazy. All right. All right, today we have the geologists are here. Tomas is explaining everything to them. So, so yeah, we'll see what they have to say. Oui. Ça d'après l'entrée, puis bon, là, les photos, je pensais à l'époque que c'était droit, ça a dû tout à tout à pousser. Cela, je pense que pareil, la piscine, on ne pouvait pas éviter pour l'entrée. I've never really taken a video from this angle before where you can really see the crack. Why um, it's pretty certain that it's gonna fall at some point. Probably 
way sooner than later. That's the new wall that they've built. I don't know. I'm not too convinced that that's going to hold back all the water. There we go. So let's do a, a recap. Yeah. So, so basically, what did the geologist say? The geologist says that the cliff is already um, separate from the the main part. Yeah. So 20 meters of the cliff cliff gonna fall. Uh, it's not possible to keep it uh, on site. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's not possible to cage it in cage, or something. No, yeah. It's, uh, it's there is just some little point attached point okay but it's too too weak to to use it so we have to cut the trees because the trees with the wind they have to they, they move right. and they they're can pull, they're pulling it on it yeah so we have to cut it at four or five meters maximum height and uh, we have to keep the woods because now right that's woods, what's holding it yeah it's holding for the moment and uh, even if uh, we take the cliff out, we're gonna cut the tree. So begin to cut the tree, mm -hmm. clean the cliff, uh, leave, uh, take out all the vegetable, and at the same moment we can make all the little rocks and everything fall. Mm -hmm. Like this, it doesn't fall when people are under. Or... Mm -hmm. So make it be clean, and. Uh, this geologist doesn't make the full um, report. Report, so he don't know. Uh, he is not able to say where is the attach point and okay. what kind of um, um, destruction we can do. We can use like uh, I told you pneumatic, yeah, pneumatic. Mm -hmm. Put in the crack, make it. Expand. expand and make it fall the cliff or some explosion, mm -hmm. micro explosion at different point. Or we just wait for nature to take its course. Yeah, but the thing is, if we wait, we have to close the garden. Right. So um, half of the garden will be closed for one, two, mm -hmm. three years, or maybe uh, yeah. 20 years. It's <laughs> difficult to say. Mm -hmm. So... So it'd be better to bring it down. Does Gilad bring them down? Gelad, no. That's the, when I call Gelad, he asked me, uh, he said he can do it if he had a report. Uh, I say, mm -hmm. uh, this geologist told me it's uh, like G5 report. So okay. G5 or G1. And, uh, and the town isn't going to pay for that for me? No. Okay. The town paid for this guy. For this guy. And what does this guy do? This guy just give a, make a little report. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, we're gonna see uh, and again, gonna send us a report in one or two days. Okay. And uh, if it's enough for the gelat guy yeah. to do the job, cool. If okay. it's not, we're gonna ask a geologist, a <coughs> bureau d'études, mm. to come. I cost, uh, I asked a guy, he told me between 2,000 and 5,000 euros for oh, the, uh, the study. Damn. Yeah, so, but if gelat, used to take out cliff he should do also the the report so he should be able to come mm -hmm. ask us he should have know someone to yeah. come make the report tell him what to do and come after right and take but he's gonna charge me the same amount for he's just gonna maybe he's just gonna build the five thousand for the report into his cost i'm sure maybe less expensive i don't know mm -hmm. i think if if it's him gonna be less than uh, mm -hmm. a geologist report because the guys just come check well how we do to make it take it yeah. out and, uh, okay all right and then and then we'll just pretty much try to leave all the rock there and put smaller rocks in behind the bigger rocks that fall yeah i think it's uh, gonna be quicker mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, you if you if you want to take all the rocks out it's gonna you can yeah, have trucks crazy yeah a no. lot of trucks a lot of trucks and i'm sure the trucks will not be able to to yeah to yeah pass, to pass through the, the, the courtyard little 
truck. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a yeah, it's finished. ridiculous. And it cost a thousand, mm -hmm. thousand, thousand. So yeah, the best is to keep everything here, put it on the basement of the cliff. Mm -hmm. Like it, it keeps the cliff. Uh, it help it to not fall. Right. Make a, like a pied, a sous, mm -hmm. sous bassement. Right. And stage. Uh, stage. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like this, uh, after you you can make something with it. Maybe. Oh, yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Now we just wait for the costs. Now we wait for the cost. Exactly. And the timing. Mm. Yeah. It would be good to get it down, just so it's not. A worry, mm, yeah. but I wonder how much it's going to be to get it down. Can make a pronostic. A what stick? A prono pronostic. Pro pronostic. pronostic. It's uh, you guess how much. Oh. Can, right. can, uh, <laughs> guess. You make your guess. I make my guess, and we see who's was was right. Right. Uh, yeah, the right to to keep the rock. Yeah. <laughs> a yeah. souvenir. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. That's the state of the cliff. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But we do know that the cottage is safe. Yeah. For the geology safe for the at the end of the century it should be. It should be good. Good. Yeah. Good to so go. All right. Well. For you and for me, it should be okay. That's good. Good news, anyway. Yeah. We can uh, we the, yeah. the the cottage. Right. And live. have it be safe. Yeah. All right. That's the update. We have the, uh, the big cherry picker arriving. Yeah, so they're going to start on the roof of the cottage next week. So they're going to leave this thing. I've been here for a week. So I'm back this morning in Ishiak to pick up the paint for the uh, bedroom. So it's such a pretty little town. Honestly, it's just ridiculous, as you can see. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little quick tour as I walk the streets of Ishiak. I never say it right. I'm sure I'm saying it incorrectly now. But there you go. Look at this little garden. Oh my goodness, so cute. I'm not really sure which way to go to get to the main drag. Up this little gate? Yeah, maybe. It looks kind of has possibilities. Look at this little garden. Oh, it's so cute. would do in the live in the living room huh interesting okay I feel like it's this way I've got a boucherie little gate up here you can come and stay <laughs> oh look look at this I'm like here found it Voila, and they don't look very open. Oh no, there's Mark. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get the paint. Found a strange shop in Isishiak. <laughs> I guess an artist. 
interesting. It's like fashion meets mosaic tiles. <laughs> wow, look at that. Chicken mask. Interesting. Oh, quite a few cats in this town. It's very quiet on Saturdays because Sunday is their big market day. So all the shops seem to close on Saturdays, but then they're open on Sundays. So of course I'm here on a Saturday just because the paint store closes on Sunday. <laughs> there you go. So you kind of got to make your, your choice. But um, I'm going to have lunch at a place that Mark recommended by Deb and Mark, who are now my new best friends. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just super cute. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have uh, lunch at this restaurant here, but they don't start serving until 12.15, so I'm wandering around the empty streets, killing time. <laughs> How the wind makes way across the field. Let me take a breath Let me be a part of something real mm. Someone said it's better when You hold on to a helping hand Sometimes we could all use a friend Mimosa season. I'm excited. Get some. 